Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Paul Corson with CNN. Can I hold it? Um, we don't see very often anymore the color-coded threat levels. Is there a substitute for that or some other way the public can really assess when we've moved into a period of greater risk? Uh, we're thinking of the election and the candidates out in the public, that sort of thing. Well, of course, you did see we did raise uh, aviation to orange uh, in August 2006. We've maintained it at orange um, because it was in response to a specific threat. The color codes are still there. We're still at yellow. We have tried, at least during my two and a half years here, when we have raised it, to be as focused as we can be about where we're raising it. In other words, we try to be as specific as we can be with respect to a particular region or a particular sector of the uh, economy so that we can be um, as sculpted and as specific as possible. And there are a couple reasons for that. First. Uh, in some ways, yellow is now more robust than it was several years ago, so there's less reason to go to orange. Now, as, we, as we've raised the base level, the baseline level of security, um, it's adequate to deal even with this enhanced circumstance. Second, we tend to raise the color when we want to drive a very rapid, specific reaction <coughs> with respect to a threat. Uh, and there are now pretty well-developed plans in the transit sector, in the aviation sector, in private business as well, about what you do when you go to orange or go to red. So, um, you know, if we can raise the level of security over a period of time, we don't need to hit that button and move it that quickly. But we certainly reserve the right to do it. And then, the, really, the point of the colors is to, is to be transparent to the public, to say, <laughs> you're going to see more uh, activity, here's why. Um, I tried during the few times that we did raise the level to be as clear as possible about why we were doing it. And so I think, you know, it's, it's um, a system that is still in place, still works well, but we are trying to be as uh, specific as possible when we raise it so we're as informative and we do um, only what's necessary as opposed to more than is necessary. It's clear to me, you know, I used to live in Israel. And Israel faces real terrorists every single day and real terror attacks and real explosions. And people in Israel do not walk around in the state of fear that Americans are walking around in now because the assumption is that Mossad is doing its work and Mossad is quietly doing its work and that when people need to know something, it's practical information. There's nothing like the red, orange, yellow alert there that there is here that would be considered insane over there where the real job is to catch and track terrorists. So what you get is like avoid Machne Yehuda, which is a, a, a marketplace, you know, on Friday afternoon because there's real intelligence. And in fact, Israelis make it a point of pride to not live in fear and to not let terrorists um, take away uh, what makes civil society valuable.